breathe in the air The light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together We'll go far Created a space Hey guys, in today's video I'd like to show you how I use shoe boxes And some storage items that I got from the Dollar Tree To make myself a small storage unit I have a lot of shoe boxes and for today's video this is the type of shoe box I'm going to be using and I'll be using just the outer box I want to use six of these items inside the shoe boxes So I'm going to have three on each side and I will make sure that they're equally spaced. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm extending the lines because I'm going to put something inside that's going to support the plaques to make it easy for me to pull them in and out. This side here has an open space, so I'm going to open up the other side so it can have an open space as well. Now these are the wooden dowels that I'll glue inside to support the plaques. I measured it against the box and yay, it is a perfect fit. I will have something in the middle to separate both sides of the plaques. Now that that's okay, I kept it aside and then I took frames that I had already used the mirrors for a different project. And these frames are going to be glued at the front and at the back of the shoe box. After that, I took it out and I spray painted it using a flat white or stellium spray paint. I got this canvas panel from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it to size to put it inside the shoe box. Mm -hmm. 
This is to form a partition in the middle of the box to separate both sides of the plaques. And this is also going to give the shoe box some stability in the middle. Now I have successfully separated the left from the right. I'll be using napkin rings for the base and I'm going to spray paint them gold using this gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is a round mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a decorative mirror that's light in weight, and I'm gonna glue that in front of the storage box. You can leave it the way it is, but then I decided to add these decorative shapes that I got from Michael's craft store, and I used this gold for sodium spray paint, spray painted them gold, and then glued them to all four corners. Now I was thinking about something optional for the base. These are shot cups that I got from the Dollar Tree and because they're transparent, it kind of goes with the transparent plaques as well. I'm actually just going to try both of them to see which one's better. These are crystal knobs that I will be using to glue in the middle of all of the plaques and they look so pretty. And that's it! Now I have a unique customized storage using a shoebox. I was inspired to make this because a friend of mine said she's into eyelashes and that she has it all over the place. So this is good for storing little items like the lashes and the glue. But for me, I'm going to be storing something entirely different inside. This is another example of a DIY using shoe boxes. And the link for this DIY will be in the description box below. This is another storage or display unit using shoe boxes and the link is going to be in the description box below as well. Now these are other storage ideas using other items and the link for all of these videos are going to be in the description box below. Now what I made this time around is so unique and it's so pretty and I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys liked how this DIY turned out. Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.